gentlemen, moving on with the show. If you're having a good time so far tonight, make some noise! Up next, we are ready for three rounds in the amateur thigh 67 kilo weight class. Introducing first and fighting out of the blue corner, representing Dublin Combat Academy. Please welcome to the ring, Gavin Reed! And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, representing Warriors. Please welcome Adam McDonough! Ladies and gentlemen, for anyone watching the stream, we do apologize. The Gremlins got into the Wi Fi. There was an issue with the Wi Fi at the decision point. We just like to inform you that Rhino Flaherty won a unanimous decision in the previous bout. This bout is 67 kg. Amateur tie bout, it's odds against evens. North side beats south side. It's Gavin Reed out of DCA against Adam McDonough out of Warriors. As you said, this is the first for a local derby. We're gonna see some high energy here. We can see it already, just venom in them kicks. Two gyms that, it's a rivalry between the two, but it's a good rivalry. Yeah, this is, this is what we need. You need competition to breed better athletes. We've already seen the, the difference in skill this round. A little bit more intent in the kick, more body kicks. Nice right hand by McDonough trying to land in, but Ooh. just out of range there was Gavin Reed. Nice Ooh. step in knee by Reed. Trying to get them knees up a little bit more to get that score. Nice teep. Yeah. Superb too. Just oh, to keep nice the fighter at distance where you want him as well, Mark. Catches the kick. Ooh. Remember, he was young. he's only got two steps when he gets that leg. You should have used them two steps to get that score. And in tight boxing, you're allowed multiple steps to pull them back. Just out of range of missing these shots. I'm not a big fan of that low ducking technique to get away. Not in tight boxing. Not even an amateur. That knee is going to pop up. He'll get an accidental knee to the face. Nice, nice jab. Stiff. That was a very stiff jab. Stepped in and That's rocked the head back of Gavin Reed oh. there. A little bit of being off balance and a little bit of sweep. Nice body shot. Done it. Just clipped the nose with that uppercut. McDonough. This Ten round is slow past. Nice. Great opening round, great energy. Two exceptional corners, and it was something Keen Cowley spoke of in the lead up to this event was that rivalry. And as you said, Mike, you can almost see the intensity in this fight has just escalated to what has gone beforehand. Yeah, the card's designed great. We can see the levels, as I said before, the levels. Uh, going, we're going to the next level with each match. We can see the players and the fighters not jumping in on each other so much. A little bit more tactical. We normally see our Dublin Combat Academy a little bit more on the clinch. Dublin Combat Academy are very good with their fighters, about aggressive clinching. However, it doesn't seem to be going their way at the moment. Nice right play. hand there by McDonough. And again, as you allude to with DCA, they they really have springboarded up in the opinion of a lot of fighters that, throughout the country and a lot of fighters from all combat sports are going out to Collie Matten to improve their striking game. Yeah, it's, they, they train hard, they train tough. If you can keep with them at that level, you're, you're going to get better. Nice knee. The, uh, the leg was caught looking for a sweep. I'd like to see Reed use that length more. He's got the length, use that teep. Deep lead leg kick, that jab's getting through a little bit too much for my looking. Nice score. And again, he's going to need to get that leg back or he's going to be susceptible to that big stiff jab or that big right hand from McDonough. Oh, we could see that sweep coming. Score, get the kick. I'd like to see the guys tuck the chin a little bit more. When you get the leg cut, we shouldn't be nice and tall, unless you're trying to lean back to evade. Yeah. Tuck the chin or get out of dodge, lean back. 
10 seconds to go. Good scores there by McDonough, body scores. You start to see the left hand side of Reed reddening up. Most significant shot of the night goes to the corner man who just landed a beautiful slap on Adam McDonough's face just right there. Jeter fighter up for this third and final round. He could be down on the scorecards before we even start. There we go, flying knee. He knows he needs to get them points in. It's still quite close. And there's the point you were talking about, Marcus. Keeping that chin high when the yeah. leg is caught. He paid the price with the right hand. We're going to find out another thing tonight. We're going to find out what way the judges are scoring this. In, in a European Thai boxing match, punches will get equal score if they have effect or if they're scoring traditional Thai, which means the kick will nearly supersede all techniques. So the mini throw kick. Uh, we've seen it happen to Craig Coakley in the National Basketball Arena against yeah. a Thai fighter. Uh, let's see what way the judges see this fight going. And then when you look at Craig Coakley, he switched his style in Yakau, yeah. and he was more kick predominant, and he scored against them. Yeah. Yeah. So, as you say, it depends what way judges are scoring. But you can definitely see the aggression here in Gavin Reed in the third round. Oh, I'd like to see that teep a little bit more. Using that in round one. Control the distance, get that score. Nice, there we go. Yeah, Let's indeed. go back to basics. D1 Mafia in the corner, calling their fighter to push forward. Now turn in the knock him off balance. Again, making it too difficult for the judges. Tight, nice hands here by McDonough. Both fighters really trying to push here for the finish line. He has to walk forward. Even the corner don't know. Dublin Combat Academy don't know if them stiff jabs are scoring more yeah. than them kicks. Nice switch. He's got to take advantage. He's got to evade and hit. Evade and score. Kick, get the score. There's the kick and nice right hands with both men in that exchange. Both Ten men seconds. exhausted here. Giving it their all. Great knee. Still throwing, still throwing, still pushing. Great match, great match. You can feel the energy from the crowd. Bow fighters embrace in the center of the ring. We are going to go to your judges' scorecards. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for both these fighters. What a fight! <laughs> After three great rounds, we once again go to the scorecards. Judges have scored the bout, declaring a winner by majority decision. Fighting out of the 